Good morning students I am Pawan your science master Today I would like to speak to 7th standard students Students we have been talking about fourth chapter that's motion and time we have been talking about different types of motions the motion depends upon the motion of an object depends upon the situation you know based on the situation the motion of any body or any object is divided into different types okay if all parts of the body move in the direction of the motion of that particular body is called translatory motion the translatory motion may be in a straight line or the translatory motion may be in a curved line if the translatory motion is in straight line that is called rectilinear motion if the translatory motion is in curved line that's called as curvilinear motion students have you got it what is translatory motion okay translatory motion is of again two types that is rectilinear motion and curvilinear motion that we have discussed in the previous class okay in this class i want to do explain the next types of motions you know let me write the types of the motions first of all first of all translatory motion next second type rotatory motion third type oscillatory motion students yeah definition if you see the translatory motion translatory motion in which all parts of the body move in the direction of the motion of that particular body okay all parts of that body and this is of two types again this is of two types one is rectilinear sorry rectilinear and curvilinear okay students rectilinear and curvilinear this we have completed and this part of the motion and this types of motions we have to discuss today a rotatory motion means if all parts of the body move in the motion of that particular body but in a circular path in a circular path see if a body is moving in a circular path if a body is moving in a circular path okay see all parts of that particular body move in a circular path based on a fixed point okay based on what a fixed point all parts of the body move around that fixed point okay then this type of motion is called rotatory motion got it example see take the blades of a fan okay and the hands of a clock they move in a they move in a rotatory path so that we can call that as rotatory motion next what is oscillatory motion oscillatory motion all the parts of that moving body move in to and from motion to and from motion example you take pendulum of a clock you know pendulum of a clock the, the pendulum move in between two points like this in a fixed distance 
that move always in a fixed distance. So this type of motion is called oscillatory motion. Okay. There are various examples if you think you will get there many many examples for these type of motions. Students, a table will be displayed on the screen. You can please observe the table and write the type of the motion that objects possess. Okay, and motion of blades of a ceiling fan. The blades of ceiling fan move with respect to a center point in a circular path. So that we can say the motion in the object is the motion of blades of a ceiling fan is rotatory motion. And the next motion of an arrow from a bow. How? That moves in a straight line, right? All parts of that arrow move along with that object, along with the arrow in the direction of that moment of the arrow. So that, that moves from one point to another. We can say that's translatory motion. Okay? And motion of the earth around the sun. Motion of the earth around the sun. The earth moves around the sun. The sentence makes us to understand earth around the sun. Around the sun means that's moving in a circular path. The sun is the center point with respect to the center point, center, fixed point. Sun doesn't move. Sun is stationary. That doesn't move. So, earth moves around the sun in a circular path. So, the motion of the earth around the sun is rotatory motion. Next, motion of a drill bit. Motion of what? A drill bit. It moves in a circular path. So we can say that is in rotatory motion. And motion of wheels of an object, wheels of a bicycle you take, motion of wheels of an object given here, but motion of wheels of a bicycle, wheels of a bicycle, wheels always move in a circular path. So that we can say that's in rotatory motion. Okay, students? Right. So there are various examples given to understand the types of motion, students. You can go through the textbook. You will easily understand the types of motions. Okay, students? So that uh, let me write the definitions of these types of motions first. Uh, let me write the definition of rotatory motion. All parts of a moving body, all parts of a moving body follow a circular path follow a circular path with respect to a fixed point or center okay with respect to a fixed point or a fixed center. Got it? So, we can understand that the motion, all parts of a moving body follow a circular path with respect to fixed point or center called rotatory motion. Then the object is said to be in rotatory motion, students. Okay? Next definition. The definition of oscillatory motion. Let me write the definition of oscillatory motion here, students. All parts, you know, 
all parts of a moving body all parts of a moving body move in to and fro and always follow the same path this will be the definition of oscillatory motion you can see this example see this is to and fro motion okay pendulum of a clock i said right this moves in between these two points same path all parts of moving body all parts of this moving body move in to and fro motion to and fro for example this is to and this is fro motion okay to and fro like this move in to and fro motion and always follow the same path always following the same path this type of motion is called oscillatory motion got this point students right students now let us talk about slow and fast motion here slow and fast do you know these terms students slow and fast you know you might have heard these words in your day to day life students if there are two or more objects are moving if there are two or more objects are in motion then you can say some objects are moving slow some objects are moving fast how do you say when you compare the motions of all of these objects then you will be able to say the object is moving fast and the object is moving slow right how can you say the slow and fast motion of an object with respect to time okay with respect to what time based on the distance covered by the object with respect to time we can say the object whether it is moving fast or slow got it like this we have to compare the motions of different objects okay a table will be displayed on the screen students so you can see there and you please mention whether the object is moving slow or fast okay serial number 1 aeroplane and train which object moves fast which object moves slow aeroplane moves fast and train moves slower than aeroplane got it train moves slower than aeroplane then serial number 2 you see bus or auto rickshaw or rickshaw which one of these objects move slow and which one of these objects move fast obviously bus moves faster than auto rickshaw or rickshaw next serial number 3 bicycle and scooter which one of these two objects move fast or slow bicycle moves slower than the scooter yes yes next serial number 4 elephant and cheetah obviously elephant moves slower than cheetah and dog and buffalo obviously dog runs faster than buffalo next man and horse obviously we can say horse runs faster than the man got it students if you compare the motion of different pairs of objects you can understand which object is moving fast and which object is moving slow as simple as that next Uh, let's consider four students are participating in a running race students 
this example makes you understand what is slow and what is fast okay this example makes you understand what is slow and what is fast see here four students participated in a running race priya kartik divya kiran they participated in a 100 meters running race what they participated first priya next kartik divya and kiran they are this is the starting point from here till here they have to the distance between these two points is 100 meters okay 100 meters the distance is fixed the students are going to run here from this point to this point from a to b so if they wanted to reach this point b they have to cover this distance they have to cover 100 meters distance okay of course they may cover this distance but what difference do you see the time difference you have to see the time difference if you see then you will be able to understand who ran slow and who ran fast for example priya covers this distance in 20 seconds kartik covers this distance in 22 seconds divya covers in 24 seconds kiran covers in 26 seconds can you say who ran fast who ran slow can you say who ran fast who ran slow the distance is fixed this is fixed distance but what is different here the time is different what is different time taken to cover this distance is different the student one who covers the distance within shortest time then you can say the student covered the distance in fast okay shortest time this is the shortest time priya covered the 100 meters distance in 20 seconds within short span of time and kiran covered no in 26 seconds so this fellow the student is slow you can say and priya is fast you can say like this you can compare the the fixed distance covered in the shortest time is fast the fixed distance covered by in longest time is slow that's it okay students like this you have to understand what is slow and what is fast okay so now let us talk about time especially what time students it's most common word that we use in our day to day life time uh you get up in the morning and you see the time by what time you woke up and if you wanted to reach to school students if you wanted to reach school you know the time of the school starts okay yeah let me give you an example that how can you understand the time students you and your friend uh, go to school regularly 
but you go by walk and your friend goes by bicycle where to the school students who goes early to the school and who goes late to the school if you go by walk obviously you go slow you go late to the school yes or no yes and your friend one who is going by by cycle obviously your friend goes early to the school because he is going by by cycle so he is reaching the same distance in the shortest time okay so that he goes early and then you go slow because you go by walk it takes a lot of time okay it takes long time to reach to school so that you go late to the school so there the time is important to do some activities you know time uh in olden days the people used to do their activities based on sundial okay based on pendulum clock based on you know they they, they used to uh, see the sun position of the sun in the sky and they used to see the shadow based on the distance of the shadow and the position of the sun in the sky the people used to follow their regular activities okay they used to do their activities and that that was their time okay that was their time they used to follow but nowadays there are electronic clocks digital clocks and stop clocks and there are various clocks uh i think most of you see the time if you ask someone what's the time now the people the person whom you ask the time they obviously they open their mobile and they see the time and say the time right and nowadays it's very rare the people who are wearing wrist watches okay it's very rare because uh, that became like an ornamental thing wearing a wrist watch became like an ornamental thing but it's you know most of us see the time in the cell phones yes or no yes yes this is the truth next the devices that which show time all devices are available in software format the devices which show the time you know that all sort of all types of devices are available in software format you know you can see timer in your clock you know timer stopwatch everything available in software format every set of time like you know that that may be um uh, stopwatch or that may be timer that may be alarm whatever it is you know all sort of times available in cell phones nowadays in mobile phones nowadays students okay like this uh, you can understand the time and uh you need to understand how do you measure the time how do you measure the time what are the units of the time units of the time you know basically seconds okay how many seconds make a minute 60 seconds yes a table will be displayed on the screen students you can understand how the time is measured what are the units of time okay 60 seconds 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour 24 hours 1 day 365 days 1 year 10 years 1 decade 10 decades 1 century next 10 centuries 
वन मिलीनियम गॉट इट वन मिलीनियम स्टूडेंट्स वी कैन मेजर द टाइम विद द हेल्प ऑफ सम यूनिट्स लाइक दिस ओके गॉट इट या नाउ लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज स्पीड इफ यू टेक ए बाइक कैन यू सी दैट स्पीडोमीटर येस देर इज ए हैंड मूविंग वेन द बाइक इज रनिंग टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज स्पीड देर यू नीड टू डू एन एक्टिविटी एंड ए टेबल विल बी डिस्प्लेड ऑन द स्क्रीन स्टूडेंट्स यू प्लीज डू दैट यू प्लीज ऑब्जर्व दैट आई विल एक्सप्लेन दैट ओके ट्रैवल एंड ए मोटर वेहीकल विथ योर फादर टू मार्केट और एनी अदर प्लेस टू ऑब्जर्व द चेंजेस इन स्पीडोमीटर रीडिंग स्टूडेंट्स यू नो वॉट इज स्पीडोमीटर यू कैन सी द इमेज ऑफ स्पीडोमीटर ऑन द स्क्रीन स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द स्पीडोमीटर नोट द एग्जैक्ट टाइम वेन यू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम होम एंड ऑब्जर्व स्पीडोमीटर रीडिंग केयरफुली एंड नोट इट करस्पॉन्डिंग टाइम इन द टेबल गिवेन ऑन द स्क्रीन द द स्पीड ऑफ द वेहीकल रिमेन सेम थ्रू आउट द जर्नी If not, what can you say about the speed of vehicle during the journey? You can see the table, students. Speedometer reading speed zero, twenty, and thirty. What are these numbers? You don't know, right? You know the speedometer is showing the distance here: zero meters, twenty meters, and thirty meters. and corresponding time here you can see the started at 9 10 am 9 o'clock and 10 minutes am in the in the morning and after 20 meters covered the vehicle uh, took time around 5 minutes after 30 meters after 30 meters covered the vehicle the vehicle took 5 uh, more minutes time okay got it 9 10 9 15 and 9 20 the time difference is 5 5 minutes you can see there carefully okay started at 9 10 the distance of the object covered is 0 meters yes and after 5 minutes that object that vehicle covered 20 meters and after 5 minutes again that means at 9 20 the vehicle covered 30 meters again from the zero point got it most of the objects they do not have same speed throughout their journey uh, to express the speed of the object we consider its average speed we consider it what an average speed of the vehicle okay how to calculate the average speed you know average speed is equals total distance covered by total time taken to travel the distance you know students we have to calculate an average speed what is what is average speed average speed is equals total distance what and total time total distance by total time taken got it students remember the formula average speed average speed is equals total distance covered by total time taken if the object covers 60 meters in 1 minute i want you to take it in seconds 60 seconds what will be the average what will be the average speed 60 ones 60 ones the average speed is 1 meter you know this 1 meter by 1 
वन सेकेंड सो द एवरेज स्पीड ऑफ द वेहीकल इज वन मीटर पर वन सेकेंड यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट लाइक दिस वन मीटर पर वन सेकेंड वन मीटर पर वन सेकेंड लाइक दिस यू कैन मेजर द एवरेज स्पीड यू कैन कैलकुलेट द एवरेज स्पीड got it students now how do you define the word speed the speed can be defined as you know students speed the word speed is defined as the distance covered by an object in a given not in a given in a unit time unit time this is unit time unit time students have you got it you can write that speed is the distance covered by an object in a unit time remember unit time okay distance covered unit time got it distance is represented with alphabet d time is represented with t and the distance is represented with d okay got it students so if you want to measure the speed or average speed this can be represented by s yes. so can you write the formula now s is equals d by t is the formula of speed s is equals what d by t speed is equals or average speed is equals distance covered by an object in a unit time got it so like this you have to derive the formula of speed and you can calculate different different problems using this formula you can calculate the problems related to the speed using this formula students got it yeah students here i said that unit time unit time a second is taken as unit time but in different situations and different contexts you can use different units of time you know seconds you take minutes you take hours you take day you take week you take year you take decade okay century millennium okay like this you can um, take the units of time in different situations in different contexts got it but here the basic unit of time is second okay uh there are different problems you can do using this formula in science in this chapter uh you you can do the problems and you can understand better what is speed and how can you calculate the speed of different vehicles different objects different situations yeah here another common unit that we use in our day to day life for speed kilometers per hour if you see the speedometer you can see that km slash hour h km ph what what does it mean km ph kilometer per hour km per hour like this okay kilometer per hour kilometers per hour see students if you want to change the units into meters per second how can you change how can you change the units into meters per second huh here there is another uh, formula here here i will write students
if you want to change the units you know kilometers per hour into meters per second if you want to change the units kilometers per hour into meters per second here 1 kilometer per hour is equals 5 by 18 per second okay 5 by 18 meters per second how do we get this value here like this and all you will understand in your higher classes students okay you just remember this one kilometer per hour is equal to 5 by 18 meters per one second got it if you want to change the units from kilometers per hour to meters per second like this yes students there you may have a doubt like this you know if the vehicle covers uh, 60 kilometers in 40 minutes see kilometers per minutes here 60 kilometers per minute but the units are here in kilometers per minutes here per some units you know minutes are given here right so if you want to change the minutes unit into hours how do you change like this okay that uh, let me teach you how to calculate the uh, how to change the uh, minutes units into hours we are calculating the problems based on the speed of the object students uh, let me give you that explanation <clears throat> students if an object covers 60 kilometers in 40 minutes 60 kilometers in 40 minutes so can you write like this you know 60 60 kilometers per 40 minutes 40 minutes can you write in short form like this of course you can write but if you want to calculate average speed average speed how do you calculate the units are here kilometers here the distance is in kilometers but the time is in minutes the time should be in hours here right kilometers per hour kilometers per hour so the minutes time is there no that should be changed into hours how do you change this minutes units into hours units if you want to change this minutes units into hours units you have to take one hour is equals 60 minutes okay one hour is equals 60 minutes here 40 minutes here 40 minutes is equals 40 by 60 hours got it 40 by 60 hours here if you cancel 0 0 2 2 2 3 is what will be the value 2 by 3 hours so here you can write 60 kilometers per 2 by 3 hours got it students here I am writing 60 kilometers per 2 by 3 hours got it students so like this you can change the units from minutes to hours you know kilometers per minutes to kilometers per hours like this got it next if you are going to measure the average speed you are going to measure the average speed right see here 60 kilometers per 
टू बै थ्री अवर्स रईट सिक्सटी इंटू थ्री बै टू अवर्स यू कैन रईट लाइक दिस सिक्सटी इंटू थ्री बै टू किलोमीटर्स पर् अवर् लाइक दिस सो टू वन टू थर्टी सिक्सटी थर्टी इंटू थ्री इज ईक्वल नाइंटी किलोमीटर्स पर् अवर् you can measure like this the average speed of that if the value is given in such a way kilometers per minute you know kilometers per minute if the values or units are given in kilometers per minutes you can calculate like this you know one hour is equal 60 minutes 40 minutes is equals 40 by 60 hours then if you cancel the values like this 2 by 3 you will get and then 2 by 3 is in hours units you know like this you can write here you know 60 kilometers per 2 by 3 hours okay and that can be calculated like this you know 60 kilometers per 2 by 3 hours the values can be uh, changed like this you know 60 into 3 by 2 can be written like this okay and then if you cancel the values like this then you will get 90 the value will be 90 90 kilometers per hour this will be the answer for this question okay you can calculate the average speed like this and there are different problems given in the book the problems i'll explain the problem is displayed on the screen you can see students so the speed of a bus is 72 kilometers per hour whereas the speed of car is 12.5 meters per second what is that average speed 12.5 meters per second which vehicle moves faster which vehicle moves faster here you have to compare two speeds here they must be expressed in same units you know the speed average speeds are given here students the bus speed is 72 kilometers per hour but the car speed is 12.5 meters per second okay here the values are different you know bus speed units are in kilometers per hour but the car speed is in meters per second we have to change the units to the same okay you can change the units of the bus into units of car here or you can change the units of this average speed units of the car into the average speed units of the bus got it let's do that problem on the board now let us do the problem on the board now <coughs> students see here the speed of bus is equals 72 kilometers per hour car is equal to the speed of car is equal to the speed of car is equal to 12.5 meters per second students if the problem is given like this the units are different this is kilometers per hour and this is meters per second right so if you want to do this problem either you have to change this units to meters per second or you have to change this meters per second to kilometers per hour students based on our convenient if you want to get the value in meters per second or kilometers per hour based on your convenient you can change the units you know in the previous class i have explained you that the, how to change the units if the units are given in kilometers per hour if you want to change the uh, units kilometers per hour units to meters per second how can you change 5 by 18 into 5 by 18 you have to multiply that with the value should be multiplied by 5 by 
18, right? 1 kilometer per hour is equal to what? 5 by 18 kilometer, sorry, 5 by 18 meters per second. 1 kilometer per hour is equal to 5 by 18 meters per second. Here, 1 meter per second is equals 18 by 5 kilometers per hour. Students, remember this students, if you want to change the units, kilometers per 1 kilometer per hour is equals 5 by 18 meters per second. 1 meter per second is equals 18 by 5 kilometers per hour. So, which one is convenient to you? Just you think of. Here, it's better to change the units meters per second into kilometers per hour, right? So, how do you change? How do you change it? Twelve point five into eighteen by five kilometers per hour. Like this, you can write, right? You can write it like this. Got it? 12.5 into 5 by 18. 12.5 into 5 by 18 kilometers per hour. Now you can calculate the value is equals, you know, uh, if you calculate the value like this, you know, what will you get? 45 kilometers per hour. See, 45 kilometers per hour and 72 kilometers per hour. Students, car is traveling in 45 kilometers per hour and the bus is traveling 72 kilometers per hour. Which vehicle is faster that you need to calculate here? So you have to change the units into same and in the process of changing the units into same like this, you know, one kilometer per hour is equals 5 by 18 meters per second. One meter per second is equals 18 by 5 kilometers per hour. Got it? If the units, the speed, average speed units are given in the same, then it will be easy for you to compare the speed of the vehicle and then you can say that which vehicle is speed, which vehicle is slow. Got it? So, how can you say that? Which vehicle is moving fast here? Obviously, car is in 45 kilometers per hour and the bus is in 72 kilometers per hour. The average speed is more here. So, bus is covering more distance in the same time, in one hour, one hour, one hour. Got it? So, bus covers more speed, sorry. So, the bus is more speed comparing with the speed of car. So, bus is more speed comparing with the speed with the, the speed of car. By seeing it, the value here that we got 45 kilometers per hour and 72 kilometers per hour. You can easily understand that the bus is faster comparing with the car. So, we can calculate the speed of the vehicles with this formula, average speed of the vehicle with the formula and we can 
compare the vehicle which one is speed and which one is slow comparing with the other vehicle speed okay like this we can do the problems using this formula speed is equals distance traveled by unit time okay students uh, this is for this chapter students after this you have keywords you can see the textbook you can learn read the keywords and you can learn the keywords and after keywords you have that improve your learning sections you can see the questions and you try to answer for those questions as well okay students and this is for this video students thank you for listening thank you one and all